Hi there, Shannon West here with another fun card to show you today. This one features the Paradise Palm stamp set and is awesome if you are needing a little beach escape but you can't get to the actual beach. This card features Paradise Palms, some watercolor paper because we're doing a watercolor wash and so I also need my water painter, the one that's really wide so that we can cover a lot of area. So to start off with, we will um, take the two stems from Paradise Palms and I'm going to emboss them in clear to preserve part of the, to preserve that image so that when we watercolor, it will still look like a palm tree behind it. So now both images of the leaves, they're similar, a little bit different, so we'll use them both. And then we are ready for some embossing powder. Got to kind of be quick about this so you can get it in the right spot. Okay. Okay, embossing powder. Okay, now we're ready to heat this. Embossing is complete. Time for the fun part, the watercolor wash. So I'm going to use Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay, and Pear Pizzazz. These colors look so nice together. And so I'll just add a drop of ink refill for each one. And then they'll need a little bit of water to blend. Blend in with that amazing vibrant color. I'll just drip a little bit of water into these. Okay, now to start off with, I'm just going to cover most of the watercolor paper with water. Not every single bit though, because I like there to be an edge and I want the edge to be um, interesting, not just a straight line everywhere. So blend that in a little bit. Looks like our paper is wanting to curl a little bit, which is okay. That'll just add to the effects of the watercoloring. So um, pear pizzazz on top of the leaves, palm tree leaves. There we go. And like I said, I wanted kind of a rough edge, so I'll just let that be as is. Then let's see. Bermuda Bay, and the colors are going to blend like crazy. That's all right because we're using a lot of water, so don't worry about that. And then finally, let's make sure we have enough water down in this area. We're going to do Pacific Point to deepen this color, and then make sure everything is color covered. All right, from here, now it needs to dry. So you can use your heat tool to help it dry or you can um, blot up the ink a little bit if you'd like. Um, there's a lot here. It'll take forever to dry, so I'm gonna <laughs> help it out a little bit. And the colors are staying vibrant and individual, but then they're still submerging together, which looks really cool. That's what I wanted. So just mopping up those colors a little bit, and now we can speed up the drying a little bit with the heat tool. Watercolor paper is all dry, and look how the colors have blended together really nicely, but they also still, you can see very clearly, pear pizzazz, you can see the three colors very clearly. I'm happy. Let's add a little bit of embellishing. How about some black and white twine to the bottom? Three, I'm gonna wrap it around three times and tie a little bow. And 
And then we need a greeting. Let's get those ears the right length. Okay, that looks good. And then let's see, I'm going to adjust this so that these overlap a little bit. They're already doing that. Great. And then I prepared beforehand a happy birthday greeting, just white embossing on black cardstock. So let's tuck that down in there. And, oh, I need to cut off my, there we go. And then the last embellishment, iridescent rhinestones. I love these, they look so cool. And even though they look pink on this sheet, when you layer them over colors, they take on that color. So these will be perfect for our purposes today. Let's see, I'll put one up here and Let's add one to the black and one more down there. Now we're ready to add this to our card. I'm gonna add a ton of dimensionals because this uh, watercolor paper is pretty stiff and so, you know, needs some extra help maybe. And then last step, add it to our Crumb cake card. Now I selected crumb cake because it reminded me of sand. So that fit, that mixed in nicely with our amazing little escape card, escape to the beach card. Get that right in there in the middle. And all finished. Thanks so much for being here today and for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.